I yeah, this is his first project that he didn't drop since what LP. Granted, he did drop a project back um last year with Danny Brown scaring the hoes. It was a great project. Only thing that I ain't like about that project was sort of like I don't know, like uh. The mixing and junk, you know what I'm saying? I feel like on a lot of the songs, like, you could, the, the beats were nice and stuff, but I couldn't hear necessarily what they were saying. But I did like that project overall. Um, I like the two singles that came with this project. Got me excited for, like, I don't know what to expect. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some very beautiful shit. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be loud and abrasive and just probably beautiful as fuck. So, yeah, bro, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, man. First reaction jpeg mafia i lay down my life for you man let's go so the first song he got on this mug is called i scream into the mirror before i interact dot 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 oh shit i scream into the oh shit okay <laughs> so the first song that we on this album is called i scream this in the mirror before i interact with anyone oh, i like this already i think so i'm gonna be dylan brooks i mean he's beating up niggas I'm fucking with this production, bro. Already. Like, he's sticking to the rock shit I'm seeing. Alright, that was a solid intro. I need to cut this crossfade off real quick so it won't just bleed into the next song. But, that was a solid intro. Granted, the beginning of it, it did sound a little muffled to me, but at the same time, I like it, shit. I like it. Can't wait to hear this shit in the car, bro. This is already doing sort of that loud and loud abrasive shit already. The next song we got on here is called Sin Miedo. I already heard it already. Seen the music video for it. Great song. All that. They had like three or four beat switches. That song we just played before had like two or maybe three beat switches in that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this one. But I'm going to get to the next song, which is called I'll Be There. Well, I'll Be Right There. I'm true. This shit smooth. Like, this, oh my God. Like, I didn't heard him sort of get into this bag before, but like, this shit is, you got the drums and stuff playing in the background, and you got the, it sound like a damn t twinkling star or some shit in the background of the, it sounds like I'm going, ding, doing, 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 doing. Brewing that coffee, I'm taking a sip. Everybody thinking, pick me, sleep. Thinking it's fun to take out the picture. Y'all niggas thinking you won't step ahead. This me late. All right, so we got the next song on here, which is called It's Dark and Hell is Hot, which is a DMX reference. Let's go. So I ain't mad at this right now. I'm just a little, I don't know. I'm intrigued by this, but the thing about it is like, I ain't gonna lie, I like how we just sort of switched into some dark ass shit with this beat. Like the beat, like the, the vibe of the beat just, see, that's what I'm saying. How the fuck you go from that to this, back to this? But come on, man. This nigga production is fucking, like, this nigga production is wild, bro. All over the place, but in a good way. Like, I ain't, this shit not for everybody. This shit is not for everybody. This for me, though. Yeah, I'm with all that. So the next song that we got on here is called New Black History and it's featuring Vince Staples. Let's go. Mama Cita. Mama Cita. Mama Cita. Oh shit, this is a fucking Vince Staples song. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. This is a Vince Staples song with Future called Mama Cedar. Give me a second, give me a second. I love catching samples. Oh my god. Oh, this sound like some shit Vince will rap over, especially now. Of 
Wait, wait, wait. What was that John the Majors board? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. First off, that nigga said, when I come in, bitch, stare at the floor. Bow down. When I come around, better stare at the floor. Cause I'm in that mode. On my own, I got that play. Jonathan Major, Major. Especially when y'all catching up with people. I did not catch it. Okay, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I ain't mad at this. I just wish that somebody would rap over it. Shit came out of nowhere. Definitely a change of pace from what we was and how we ended the damn song. But at the same time, I like that beat. Would have loved for somebody to come in and rap over it. He only gave us like, what, maybe 20, 14 seconds of that. So, yeah. It's all good, though. Dope song. Next song we got on here is called Don't Rely On Other Men in this. Well, shoot. This the single. I didn't already heard this already. So the next song, I'm going to skip this. We're going to get to the next song, which is called Vulgar Display of Power. This shit sound, this title is sound wicked as hell. <laughs> okay. I know this nigga did not sample... I know this nigga did not sample Wu Tang Clan, specifically Method Man. Hold on, I, I swear that sound like Bring the Pain. I could be wrong. Bruh, this nigga hell, man. Bruh, oh my god. That's one of the ones I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna have to grow on me. I do like the fact, well, that's the thing. I don't know if he used necessarily a damn, like, you know, a Method Man sample, but at the same time, it was the inflection using the same, you know, using the same thing. But I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. It could be a, another song, but yeah, that's the one I automatically thought about. So next song we on here is called Ex Military, which could be a, I don't know, could be a, a, a Death Grips. This I, okay, I don't know, but yeah, ex military. Well, he's ex military technically, so yeah, let, let's go. I heard you got dirt on me, my country encouraged me. I just bought a dirty beast, I just bought a dirty beast. My family discouraged me, my ex is the dirt on me. Oh, hey, this is a Wu Tang sample, too. 36 Chambers, yeah, I like this. shit I like this shit. Then we still got four minutes of it. Mmm. Say that shit. Oh. 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 Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I had to hit this shit in the car. <laughs> Damn. Bruh. Look. This second half of this album. Oh my god. I'm in love with this fucking production right now. Jesus Christ. And I feel like it's gonna be more of this. He gonna get away from like the rock shit. But nigga. Oh my god. I can't wait to hear this shit in concert. Next song that we got on here is called Jihad Joe. The name of this shit is funny already because I'm already knowing this going to be like some type of Joe Biden reference or some shit. So this nigga's very political, bro. Let's go. This nigga is going the fuck off right now and it sounds like he going at somebody. I, he sound like he going at somebody on every damn track. That's the thing. But this shit right here sound kind of specific. Let's go. I mean, yeah, these beats, these sinister ass beats, get beautiful. Like, come on. Sound like Godzilla made this damn beat. Like, oh lord, not the beat switch mid. What mid song? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I 
I yeah, I like that shit. It got very aggressive towards the end. I was not expecting that rock shit. The songs I already liked it from the jump, just from the way that he was rapping and shit. But when the, the beat switched, I, come, bruh, bruh, come on. Granted, like some other little bit, he was doing that little muffled shit where it was like it was hard to understand him, but. Bro, that shit hard. Fuck all that. I'm going to do everybody a service. I'm going to go listen to that damn Denzel Curry CD. I still ain't heard it. Bro, I'm going to just get on this stream one day. I'm going to just listen to a bunch of shit that I ain't heard yet. I'm going to do that for y'all. But yeah, JPEG Ultra, Denzel Curry. Let's go. Not the flabbergasted fat fucks. Cause he's he's on their ass right there. Next song we got on here is called either on or off the drug. That damn guitar, bro. Oh my god, that shit was beautiful. Next song we got on here is called Loop It or Leave It, man. This nigga is just, he's just, I could have, I could have shed tears on that just. Yeah, I know I got scuffles ahead of me. When I speak on my mind, it's unsettling. I know liberal feelings is delicate. Four, five on a hip, ready pronto. Two cups, champagne, and a rhino. Weapons Bruh. Ready to unload. You know, you will keep them like Harpo. All my bitches in love with the... The switch from all this other shit back to boom, back again? So, the next song that we got on here is called Don't Put Anything on the Bible. Featuring Buzzy Lee, these damn titles. Sound like a football player. This nigga be sampling anything. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this? I mean, this the shit from this the shit from the trailer. This the shit from the trailer. I knew he was gonna do something with this. Okay, okay, this shit beautiful. It's like they, they was getting baptized in water or some shit. I don't know. They like this gonna become witches or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Come on. Y'all niggas always be doing the most. Come on. I never chill because y'all really want a nigga broke. Like, fuck the excuses, but y'all really eat off the top. Okay, fuck that. Ah, let me get on JPEG Mafia real quick. Only thing with JPEG Mafia, with this being like my first reaction to this shit, a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, you know, he be, his flow, he be rapping fast sometimes, and then sometimes he'll have them, sometimes the production be like louder than him sometimes, so it be kind of hard to understand him. But performance wise, I I liked him on here. Besides those little listening problems, like I enjoyed him. I feel like it was your sort of your typical JPEG Mafia. The thing about it when the thing about it with me, it's 
it's his production. I feel like the first half of it, he it was more so tailored to like rock, in a way. Yeah, I feel like everything in the first half was more so tailored to rock, and then I feel like once you got to ex military, the tone sort of shifted. Granted, you did have some songs on there that sort of had like them rock drums and had like some guitars and stuff, but. <laughs> Nothing major. I feel like everything towards the end sort of got kind of angelic and shit. Granted, ex military and um, jihad Joe's kind of sounded like that they were very aggressive. I don't know, bro. Sometimes it just sound like it just sound like you just be throwing paint at the fucking wall. It's like whatever comes, I'm gonna just throw random shit in here, and whatever the fuck comes out, that's the beat. I'm gonna rap over it and then and, and just go with his last album, LP. It, that album to me felt more. It was like trappish JPEG Mafia, trappish experimental JPEG Mafia in a way. This shit was more like rock. And yeah, like just towards the end, it just, he gave us a lot of variety and shit. I, I still don't know which one is like my favorite JPEG Mafia project. It literally depends on what type of mood I'm in. I feel like if I want to be on some calm sort of chill shit, I can get on communist slow jams. Uh, what is it? The ghost pop tapes. I can listen to the uh, I mean, what, what's the uh, what's what's the other one? Shit, all my heroes of corn balls were sort of like a laid back vibe compared to the other projects. You want more abrasive shit? Black Ben Carson. You can go to Veteran. Shit, LP. You know what I'm saying? Even the EP sort of has some shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, bro. Every project, this dude reinvents himself and just always finds a way to just amaze me. So yeah, I enjoyed this project. Be sure to give this shit a listen. Please like, subscribe, and comment. All that good stuff, man. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Let me know if I was wrong by anything. Please feel free to correct me. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching this. Peace.